is Pastor David Ballard from Bethel Baptist Church, and this is another segment of Bethel's Bread. I sure am glad that you tuned in today for this segment. Today, I would like to talk about Psalm chapter 107, 1 and 2. The Bible says in Psalm 107, 1 and 2, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Aren't you glad? The next verse says this, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Number one, I'd like to think that we should count our blessings today. I've got to be honest with you. A lot of good things have happened in our lives. A lot of good things have happened in my life. Just sometimes we don't see it for everything else that's going on around us. I'm not saying the world isn't difficult. But what I am saying is this. God has been awfully good to us, and I think that we should praise him. I think we should thank him. All oh, the many times he showed us mercy and the many times he showed us grace. I think he deserves our praise, and I think he deserves our thanks. I believe that if we would spend just a little while telling him how wonderful he is, I think our days would go a whole lot better. I think we should realize and thank God for all the great things he has done. I'm saved. Oh, I'm so glad about that. I'm sure. I'm so glad. I'm sure. The Bible tells us in the book of John that we'll never get out of Jesus' hand. He's the one holding on to us. We're not holding on to him. And I'm glad I'm sure and sealed. And I had all those things. If everything else in the world was going on around bad. I've got those things I can hold on to and I can thank him for those. But I'm going to tell you, uh, he's got so many other great things that he's done in my life. I sure do look forward to thanking him for all the greatness that he has done. We'll always have mercy. His mercy endureth forever. No matter uh, all the times we go astray and all the things that we might do wrong, I sure am glad not, that he's got mercy. I will say this. I don't think we should just go ahead and try to lead any life we want, try to do anything we want, go outside of the boundaries that God has put there for us. They're there for our protection. They're there for our help. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, I think we should do our best to live inside of what God has given us in his Bible. It lets us lead good, clean, solid Christian lives. And yes, we need his mercy. And yes, we need his grace. Uh, but I don't think we should show up to the bank of withdrawal of mercy and grace uh, so often perhaps as we do. So understand that. I think we should uh, go ahead and, and thank him. And I think we should do our best to go ahead and live a good, godly life. Then the last thing I'd like to talk about is remember... Uh, from what you have been redeemed from. I, I lived a life that wasn't a very great life, but boy, when I got saved, I wanted to do something for the Lord. I lived a few years not doing the right thing, but I realized through those years, uh, it sure is better on being the Christian side. It sure is better leading a life for Jesus Christ. It sure is better uh, living a, or your best to do a clean life. I, I don't want to have any regrets over the things that I do. And sometimes I do, but I'm going to tell you, I don't want to have those regrets. I don't want to go forward unless I'm doing my best to live for him. Now, what I want to tell you is this. Hey, God has done great things for you, so tell somebody. Say so. Hey, I'm redeemed. I'm a Christian. I'm living a good life. I'm not going to live this other life. I'm not going to live a bad life. I'm redeemed. Uh, somebody tells a dirty joke. Hey, I'm redeemed. I'm not going to listen to that. I'm, I'm redeemed. I love Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm excited about it. And I want to tell somebody, hey, listen, in today's Bethel's bread. I want you to understand something. We should be telling people about how wonderful Jesus Christ is. This world is, is going on and on without him, and they need him desperately. Let's tell somebody how good Jesus Christ is today because he certainly does deserve it. Let the redeemed say so. Don't be ashamed of him. He's done great things in your life, and I hope and pray that this helps you today, and I hope you have a great day. This has been uh, Bethel's bread, and I'm Pastor David Ballard from Bethel Baptist Church. I hope you have a great day.